channel if you're new here on this channel my name is fun a thai expat who has just moved from thailand and right now i have been living in shanghai china for four weeks and today i am offering a really wonderful episode on top attractions of shanghai so i have been to so many attractions during this chinese new year holiday and right now i'm standing at one of the most amazing spot of shanghai which is the ban or in other words white town and actually i have been to so many places i would just keep Keep the best for last. So in the meantime, let's go and see first attractions that I brought you during this New Year holiday. Let's go. is really special because this week is Chinese New Year and I got the whole week off. I don't have any rigid plan what to do during Chinese New Year but I would like to check out Shanghai and today I'm in a really really beautiful place called Sin Tianzi and right now I'm a little bit hungry so I'm just sitting here at Shake Shack. I never have Shake Shack before and this is the Shack burgers kind of like the original burgers that I ordered. How does it gonna taste like? Like I don't even know. Let's just try it. Mm. It's like a normal cheeseburger, but due to a really good quality of meat, vegetable and bread, everything is so perfect. It's like simple but perfect. beautiful street with full of foreigner and so many people came here to having some good time with their friends and family and there are so many shopping places but very high-end brand if you're seeking for high-end brand or something you better come here and also there are so many cute little bars like when you can enjoy some international food is amazing damn look at the car oh my god there are so many expensive cars you can find if you're a guy and you love to watch cars like luxury car this is like one of the best spots and I also spot like so many cute dogs people are bringing their dogs walking their dogs across the street and it's like so cute and I have captured like so many cute dogs let's have a count how many dogs are there in Sintiandi today If you come up from exit 1 from Sintianti station and then you walk across the road to where I have Shek Shek and there's this beautiful tree along the road It's one of the signature of the street and it's really really beautiful Really really beautiful you can just take the metro to Jing'an Temple Station on line 7 and then you can just take first exit you just walk here and then you will find this beautiful Jing'an Temple right in the middle of the city it is so beautiful and so many people are here because right now it's Chinese New Year so people are coming here to make a wish and I paid entrance fee here for 100 RMB and then I can enjoy my time here today so let's get up the stairs together just to see what is up there after walking up the stairs I think this is the best spot to stand here to see this beautiful view it is so beautiful you get this to see this panoramic view of Jing'an Temple it is really cool Here 
here guys my hand is literally shaking like I feel so numb I couldn't feel my hands anymore look at this chair I'm going to sit on the chair as well just for the sake that I already reached Jing An Temple and sitting on the chair so I made it it's very cold the chair is very cold <laughs> when I was filming at the back of the temple and was rubbing my nose there was one lady stared at me and approached me you are very beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are also very really beautiful. Mm. You are also very beautiful. You are also very beautiful. You are also very beautiful. Wash 今天我见面真的漂亮开心真的漂亮的上海人吗你是上海人吗他真漂亮我刚刚来一月一号刚刚来刚刚来哦刚刚来好的拜拜好这这这这<笑> So guys, are we ready to do that? I will throw the coins into that beautiful tower So I will just make a wish And then let's go down there to throw it before we leave from Jingan Temple Basically, I'm selecting two coins The first one is one yuan coins Bigger one and another one is five mao So five mao and one yuan coin This is the difference in size So I'm thinking about throwing this big one Because this one is much heavy And it got a higher momentum mm -hmm. Look at people trying I want to try Failed! I didn't manage to get it in But it's okay At least I tried Next time if I come here again I will try again, okay? But I'm not gonna waste a lot of coin on that Okay guys, I was having so much fun today at Jingan Temple Highly recommended you guys to come This is such a good place, such a beautiful place And let's see where am I going next during Chinese New Year Bye! Today destination is Shanghai Botanical Garden. This place is located around 12 km away from the city center, so it is quite far. And how to get here? Basically, I take the metro, line 3, drop yourself off at Xilong Road, and then you just walk for another 1.2 kilometers or something. So right now I'm walking there. <laughs> Really? 
Hello there. So I have found one of the most amazing spots when you walk in before you get into this Chinese garden. You just turn left a little bit and then you will have this amazing scene where at the back you will have big tree with the water flowing. It is so beautiful so I would like to recommend this spot. And it is free. You don't even have to pay for it. This is the free area. Let's look at a photo that I took. So one good thing about cold country is that you can just wear some thick clothes, you can just come outside and play in the sun, sit in the sun, eat in the sun, run in the sun. Imagine if it's Thailand where it is really really hot, extremely hot, I could never imagine like okay, none of us would be sitting in the sun just like those people. I would like to do that also today, I would like to sit there in the sun, so let's go sit in the sun. Here we go, I am in the sun. I look quite tall, look at my shadow look like I am 180 centimeters tall. I love my shadow. If I have to give out my thought about this place, I think this is a really large park where people come here to relax, to play, kids come here to play. And today I would have to say that I am so enjoy. I have a very really good relaxation day here at this park. And there are so many things to do. You can even buy a ticket to see some beautiful plants in the glass house. Or you could even go into the Chinese garden. And I would definitely come back here again in springtime because I believe that there will be flowers here. I would like to see flowers. I will now going home. And still we are having one more place to go during Chinese New Year. So Let's see you guys again tomorrow. Bye! I have found my favorite shop, H&M. I've been trying to find H&M in all over Shanghai. I just find it today after my fourth week of staying here. If you wish to come to Nanjing Road, you can just use Metro from Line 2 or Line 10 and you can drop yourself off at East Nanjing Road. And right now I'm taking Exit 1. Once you're taking Exit 1, you will be right in the middle of Nanjing Road. For me personally, Nanjing Road is like New York Times Square, something like that. Just look at the atmosphere. It looks like Times Square, but in an Asian style Times Square. So look at this, it's like, um, what do you say? Tokyo Shibuya Street, maybe? And people are walking that way just to see the bun, and we are walking that way also to see the bun. Look at that! This is like Tokyo Shibuya's intersection, isn't it? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I would say this is like thousands of people probably. Okay, this is so cool. This is so cool. What else can you see behind me? Can you see the Pearl Tower? I think this is a very beautiful spot like when you walk from East Nanjing Road like really close to the Ban view over there and you just stop here for a bit and then take some good photos but where you start to see the Pearl Tower sneaking out from the building it is the real beauty there, look at this Okay guys, we are so close, are you ready to cross the street with me? After we crossing the street, we are going to meet the panoramic view of the Ban now Shanghai Tower. 
Oh my god, I will have a little bit of information because I used to have some curiosity of what are these beautiful buildings behind me is called and why are they so special. Let's have a little bit of knowledge of the view behind me. Let's go. Alright, welcome to the interesting part, learning new things with Fun Fancy. The Ban, also known as Shanghai White Han, is one of the local famous waterfronts and the symbol of Shanghai. There are many iconic buildings right in front of you. Let's get to know the famous ones now together. The most symbolic one is on your left. It's called Oriental Pearl Tower, or Dongfang Mingju Dian Shu Ta. It's established since 1991 and completed in 1995. With the overall height of 468 meters, it's the world's sixth and China's second tallest TV and radio tower. Next, Jin Mao Tower, or Jin Mao Da Cha, is a 420.5 meters tall with 88 floors landmark skyscraper. It contains a shopping mall, offices, and the Grand Hyatt Shanghai Hotel, which starts from 53rd floor, which at the time of completion was the highest hotel in the world. The next one, Shanghai Tower, or Shanghai Zhongxin Da Sha, is a 632 meters tall with 127 floors above and 5 floors below ground. The tower ranks as China's tallest building and the second tallest building in the world after Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai. The exterior of the building spirals upward like a snake. It twists about 1 degree per floor to offset the wind effect on higher altitude. The last one that I would like to introduce is Shanghai World Financial Center or Shanghai Huanxiu Jinrong Zhongxin or the bottle opener of Shanghai. The height of this building is 492 meters with 101 floors above and 3 floors below ground. Funny enough, these three towers have been naming as the three-piece kitchen set. A bottle opener, a cooking syringe, and an egg whisk. How cute. Hi again guys, thank you very much for watching. Today I have brought you to so many beautiful attractions of Shanghai. So I ended the day at these beautiful views of the bun. Basically these top attractions is coming from my own thing. If I visit Shanghai, these is going to be the place that I would like to come first. So all of them are really special, but the one that I rated number one is definitely here, the bun at East Nanjing Road. And for our next episode, we are going to Shanghai Disneyland. Oh my god, to those Shanghai Disneyland fan we are going to be there this weekend and it's going to be our next episode on fancy in Shanghai so thank you very much for watching if you like my video don't forget to hit a like button and don't forget to hit a subscribe button and become a fun fancy channel family and then I will see you guys in my next video bye